So I bought a plow, came with a bracket. This is the top portion that would go inside your frame. On top, I have zero room in there and I have like a welded base of some sort. But on my skid plate, I just took off. So I just dropped my skid plate down. These three eighths inch screws, seven of them. In the middle, three on each side. Make sure those came from. So it was packed with mud. You can kind of see the outline of it. Where it was. The cleaner screw holes. You can reach out. There's one there. There's one in the middle, reach across my finger. One here. And this little part lip kind of that chain guard area. I have two hardened steel bolts that came from this other guy. There was four of them. This happens to be there was two holes that lined up. So I have, I have six bolts that hold the, the skid plate on. But there was a, a match for these two, so I set it on here. You can see the pins are gonna work with those brackets there and clip on. So we're gonna see if it works out. I need any spacers between here. I mean, I have two, but I think it make it kind of flimsy. So I don't know that I want to use them. I'm going to see if I looked like I had enough clearance to get, get the arms up in here in my frame. We'll see how that works. I'm going to bolt it back up and give it a whirl. So I've been reworked on this, trying to figure out how to get a little bit lower without getting it welded. So it needs to go like that. Underside like this, hanging down. Hooked on those. The previous owner had these spacers, and then I had these for holding somewhere in here. Now they're on the frame here and here. There's four of them, hardened bolts. Except for two of them are square. Have these plates. I'll show you. Mount up underneath there. These seven guys hold this up. Do a couple more of these. And I'll start them. Start them on this side. There's already holes. There's already patterns on all this. I'll leave these two. I'll put these two after. But I think I got it. We'll have enough distance to get that on there. Right now, if I bolt it up the way this way, like that, that position, it's, it's too close. Still, yeah, I need another inch or half an inch, whatever this is going to give me. For the spacers. So I'll go a little deeper and see if I can get one of these hardened steel. I should be in business. All right, so I got it on. Let me turn these off. You see, you get the slide in here and pops up. Let me get these over that and they lock on both sides. Hook your winch cable up to the front, lift it up, and you're plowing. So, my little design had to get it down low enough to get this to be below this frame. So, I took the plate that would normally go on. The upper above this frame and then the lower plate would pinch between the two those are the spacers so it was actually two plates one two and that should work pretty good that's just mounted to the skid plate with some hard steel bolts Let's see how she goes doesn't work good i'll just have to have it welded on if you like this plow video subscribe or at least like it. That's a glacier by Polaris. I'm going to open up the winch cable. Look whatever you like. 
as you can see, there's a pivot arm, so you can turn the plow whatever direction you like. But yeah, well, I'll show you how it works anyways. I can't. Oh, well, like my video. So I got a little remote control for bringing the winch in and out. Here it is. There you go. Just plug over there. Hope you enjoyed it. There's the plow. You can see a little better in the garage with the light on. Dark outside. As you can see, it's got that little lever there. Pulls forward. This guy. So, to do any of the multiple turn settings, there's the winch. It's got about three different holes that you can clip it onto. Springs. If you hit, hit a rock or something, it'll fold down without snapping it off. You can put little guides here on the ends to mark so you can see while you're plowing the edge of your blades at. And then I just got a little plug for my remote for my winch. It's a Polaris winch. I think it's a 2,500 pound that you can engage and disengage. No matter what the weight is on it, you can flip the lever and release it. But yeah. Glad to get my little plow on. It's working good.